Yes, all set. Great. Hi, everybody. This is Chris Porto from Actualizing Self, uh, here with my third guest, Francis Pedraza. Francis Pedraza is the founder and CEO of Everest, a technology startup here in San Francisco that helps people achieve their personal goals and dreams. Uh, he's from San Francisco, or sorry, San Diego, and uh, he graduated from Cornell and has traveled around the world and ended up in Silicon Valley where he's built a, a, a great team of folks uh, with Everest, and uh, I'm very excited to have him today. Francis, thanks for joining me. Hello, everyone. Thanks for having <laughs> me, Chris. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. So, you know, I, I've started out with most of my guests uh, with a question uh, that kind of frames up our conversation today, which is, uh, what does it mean to you to be a purposeful entrepreneur? Mm. Should have watched your other interviews and gotten some ideas. <laughs> um, so uh, I, I wrote one blog post that created a dichotomy between um, the opportunist and the visionary, and mm. the idea was that. And by the way, it was it was trying to do so in a non-judgmental way. Like it's perfectly all right if you're starting a business and the purpose is to make money. Mm -hmm. um, a purposeful entrepreneur. Um, has some ulterior motives uh, beyond financial gain. Um, hmm. So these motives um, can be to create um, a certain type of impact. Uh, for me, uh, the impact we're, I'm trying to do is that um, I think that everyone has a tremendous amount of potential um, hmm. and uh, that most people aren't realizing. And the biggest leverage point is to help people do the things they already want to do that they aren't doing because they lack organization and support. And I think if people did the things that they already want to do, um, human potential would be unlocked in an incredible way. So uh, thankfully, we think, we think that this is a problem technology can actually help solve, um, that uh, it is possible to use technology to help people get better at doing the things they want to do by giving them tools and a community to address the organization and support problems. So going back to your question, what does it mean to be a purposeful entrepreneur? For me, the purpose of Everest is to use technology to help unlock human potential by helping people achieve personal goals through tools mm -hmm. in the community. Um, for other entrepreneurs, I know uh, the impact might be um, to use solar technology to, to create more clean energy um, so that we reduce our dependence on uh, biofuels and improve the environment. Um, for um, uh, other purposeful entrepreneurs, it might be to uh, address the problem of obesity in America by uh, making personal trainers be a lot cheaper. I mean, th there could be any number of purposes, but uh, ultimately I think there's some impact driving the purposeful entrepreneur. I'm actually mm -hmm. reading a book uh, that I think, like, I... I I looked up from reading yesterday and told my family I should have read this book years ago. Um, it was, uh, do you ever have that, that feeling? Yeah, um, absolutely, all the time. So it's actually, do you want me to grab it? Uh, I can bring it in front of the camera. Um, sure. Uh, where'd it go? Oh, it's downstairs. It's because I was reading it uh, while I was eating. Um, it's uh, it's a, Walt Dis a biography of Walt Disney. Um, and uh, it's something like The Triumph of the American Imagination or something like that. Interesting. And... <clears throat> It's a huge book, and uh, and I'm only at the point where Walt Disney is 20 years old, but uh, he uh, was a purposeful entrepreneur because his primary passion was um, animation. Like, how, how can we? This is a totally new medium. It's never been explored before, and mm. and he just felt that it could be huge, and there was no market. Uh, there was no real business case that could be made for this, you know, crazy idea. Can you imagine him going to an investor and saying, "Hey, hey, here's the pitch. Um, we are going to uh, draw a mouse, and we're going to make this mouse uh, a character that people are going to fall in love with, and we're going to build a billion dollar company." Like, totally outrageous. It never work, but the um, mouse, the, especially because the mouse is like, uh, you know, an, an image of people being scared away, and they, they want to. They want to run away from it, as opposed to you know come up and, you know cuddle with it. It is ridiculous. You're totally right. I mean, like, have you ever actually seen a mouse? Uh, like, mice are not pretty. They are not cute. Anyone who can turn a mouse into something cute is genius. Yeah. Uh, or turn a mouse into a billion dollar business. Yeah. So um, that's interesting. So, 
this is the sort of power that a purposeful entrepreneur has is that uh, you can do these impossible things that just don't seem rational in a purely uh, financial lens. Because mm. you take these crazy risks. Absolutely. You know, you, and you mentioned inspiration, you know, or imagination. Sorry. So, mm -hmm. you know, with imagination, there is a sense of, you know, potential in that. You know, there's, there's something, there's a vision that's, that's being put out there. And, and you see that something more can happen that doesn't currently exist. And it, yes. that, you know, the, the, so there seems to be a, a real strong correlation to what you're bringing out you know, in regards to human potential specifically. And you know, the imagination that, that we have as you know, people who are interested in doing good through business mm. and, and, and how we can actually pursue that you know, in order for something new to actually come about. I love yeah. that you focused on imagination. Um, so what is imagination? Imagination is thinking about what could be as opposed to what is. Mm. And that is at the heart of entrepreneurship, as you mentioned. It's at the mm -hmm. heart of achieving goals. Uh, it's, uh, and it's at the heart of creativity.